Hello, this is Brian Casey of the Imaging Wire. We are here at ECR 2024, the annual meeting of the European Congress of Radiology. And I'm here with Dr. Kai Villanova. He is director of MRI at Clinica Girona in Spain. He is also director of the School of MRI at the European Society for Magnetic Residence in Medicine and Biology. Dr. Villanova, thanks for being with us today. Thank you very much. So um, we're going to be talking right now about uh, low-field MRI. And it seems like there were these, there were the slice wars, you know, back in the day, and those seem to be over in favor of, of high field MRI. But now we're hearing a lot more about low field MRI, and you've got both high field and low field at, installed at your facility. Can you talk a little bit about why you decided to go with low field MRI and what some of the benefits are? Well, uh, as for now, it's more than 30 years uh, my experience on MRI, so I have seen what is MRI and how it has evolved. So I remember also about 20 years ago that there was already low field, but then it declined. And even at that time, I had one low field MRI, but I just, it was obsolete because there was no more low field. Now it has changed. And this is why uh, we have uh, just uh, been in a new building, in a new clinic in Girona. And what I have implemented is both high field and low field. Why? because today we have a high demanding MRI and most of the MRI is MSK with the spine. And we have an MRI equipment with low fill that it has a lot of advantages, especially as a resources, cost effective. And this is why I have certain indications for high fill, but as most of the indications I can perform, I can perform on a MRI of low fill, this is the main reason that in our department, the key is to have both systems. Now, what are some of the applications that you're finding that, that low-field MRI is particularly useful for? Well, the, the most important is what is the high-demanding MRI. The high-demanding is MSK with the spines or the joints, and we have an MR equipment with low fill that it has with uh, less space, with cost effective that I can perform at least 80% of my demanding of MRI. And this is the main reason that I can provide to our patients and also very important, much comfortable because this is an open system. This is not closed. So the patient even is more comfortable and the results is of course with good quality. And this is going to be very important. Now, how, have your patients, how, how do patients typically respond when they get an open uh, MRI scan versus a closed one? Well, this is a big change, of course, because we know a closed system is like, is like a tunnel, it's like a tube, and in this case, an open system, it is wider, so the patient feels much comfortable, even the patient sees the operator, so the, uh, the procedure, it is very important. We know that an MRI requires to be very quiet, and this is very important. So we need that the patient feels comfort during the 20 minutes that is going to be the procedure. Now, another big issue in radiology right now is the issue of sustainability. And uh, you know, radiology facilities all over the world are trying to find ways to, to be more sustainable. Now, high field MRI, they do use helium. Uh, you know, that is a gas and they're very expensive and they require a lot of energy. What are some of the sustainability benefits of, of open MRI? Well, this is another key issue as uh, other issues that we have talked previously, but now we have to talk nowadays about sustainability. We have to take in mind that the consumption of energy of uh, this low fill is at least four times less than high fill. Not only this, we know that this uh, MRI provides this high fill higher emission of gases. And in this case, it is about five times less of emission of gas. And what is important is at the end, if we combine this higher sustainability with the cost effective, because at the end, we will have better financial management of our resources, sustainability and cost effective. So this is the combination that in our departments, we can provide in the department 
of low field MRI included uh, uh, in the different options to perform MRI examinations. Now, if, if a site is considering acquiring a low field MRI scanner and, and they haven't had one before, it, what kind of advice do you have for them? Well, for me, it, it is very clear now because uh, technique has evolved. Low field, as I said, 20 years ago, probably the quality was not quite good. But today, it has evolved the technique, even for low field. So we, we have high quality low field. And another issue important, we all know AI, artificial intelligence. And today, we can incorporate in our acquisition AI for this low field. So today, we are not talking about nice imaging in our diagnosis. We are talking about good quality of the diagnosis. And this is not a matter of field strength. This is a matter of the quality of the equipment. And this can be provided either low field, either high field. Very good. Dr. Kai Villanova of Clinica Girona, thank you for being with us today. Thank you very much to you. Thank you. Signing off from ECR 2024, my name is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. <laughs>